Hey, spy! Have you seen Demo Man lately? He's been missing for months now. Well, no, not really. I haven't heard from Demo Man ever since. Have you noticed that he's been bummed out that 15 has been shut down? He was really excited about his kitty car story. And we don't really have anything to make good text-to-speech programs since Superdoc has died. And all the other text-to-speech programs and are- Thank you is pretty much the last thing we are left with. And yes, it sucks balls. That's just the sad truth. We can't really make anything and we can't really afford the good stuff. Maybe that's the problem. The moment is depressed and he wants to get out of our base. And look for what exactly? Where would he go to get some fresh air? Well, let's think about it. What are the places where he would go by the highest chance? Well, most likely he'll be at places like the liquor store, the bar, maybe the strip bar. Or die you long shop either in the Gulf of Mexico or the Pacific Ocean. This sounds like we're going on a road trip to find the moment, but where do we start? Let's check the local liquor store first, then we'll look farther out into the Mexican desert. Agreed. What will do with a drunken sailor? What will do with a drunken sailor? What will- Well, here we are, our first stop. We'll check here, ask if they've seen Demo Man, and collect as many clues as possible. But who should we ask first? Let's ask the cashier at front. My God. Gentlemen, I will ask her myself. Ask me what? <laughs> what are you waiting for, spy? Make a move on her! Well, um, have a, have you ever, um, seen Demo Man around here? As I thought, who's this Demo Man you're referring to? We are looking for a man named Tavish. He's six foot one point five. He's a blog Scottish man with one brown eye tie and an eye patch. Any recognizable details? Well, Demo Man usually carries grenades on his black vest, and he's an artist with explosives. Oh, you mean that guy? Well, he's not here. Last time he came here, he not only mumbled, but he said something about some text-to-speech artificial intelligence. Do you have any idea where he went? He's been depressed and he's been missing for months. No, but there's plenty of booze places out further west. You will have more luck there than here. Thank you for your help. Miss what's your name, by the way? Martha, now would you kindly get this old geezer out of my store? Old geezer, are you talking about me? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you immature inbred! No, 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 At least no, I tried no. my best. No, you did, you pussied out when she heard you say I last heard myself. Oh, fuck you, medic! We're looking for Nemo Man, and I asked her if she's seen him anywhere. And she said we'll have more luck in those other liquor stores than her liquor store. Even though she also sells cigarettes. Wait a minute, no we don't! Where is Demo Man then? He's in the back seat! <laughs> Shut up, you stupid gorillas! I'm so disgusted at 15. I only put in the time for Steven, but none of the other crystal gems. How do you think I feel about it? Nobody could even make 15. Nay, I SpongeBob means. Well, none of the liquor stores in the Mexican desert have any good clue where Demo Man went. And we've wasted precious gas for no results. But we haven't checked the bars. We should keep looking for him in the bars. But which bar would the moment even go to? There's more bars here than there are schools in the United States. Including the strip bars? We'll check the strip as last effort. But first, we need to settle down on Barry's distracting us from searching for our the moment. Here, no more. We're just for the big dude. We had to be a brass for the rubber drop. And use your order of wings, and I'll be back with more food. Thank you, chef. Oh, I'm not the chef. That's my sister's cooking. So if Demo Man isn't at the liquor store, then would that mean he's out for no, something no, else? No, Maybe no, so. No. If it's not all no, correlated, no, no, then where else no, would no. he go to get away from the base? Usually he will go to a place where he can buy fireworks. 
We should also check the stores like Phantom Fireworks, Black Cat, or TNT. We should also check Pyro City. But we better not tell Pyro about it, because you no, know how no, much no, he no, loves no, fireworks. No. We were not out to buy fireworks. Why should we be worried about it? Believe me, if I were to give him an opportunity, he won't hesitate to take his money with him to buy fireworks. Hello, back with more. Okay, now that you had your whole cow, are we ready to get out and find them, oh man? Hey, I'm setting my stomach down, Medic's the one who keeps buying more and more beers. That's because I'm waiting, waiting for you two to I'm gone and died. I'm ordering more food because I thought I might as well eat more if you're going to order more beers. That's because, because you are. That's because that's how fat you really are. How am I the fat one when you're the one drinking 70 bottles of beer? I'm the one who's waiting for the drunk. Enough, both of you. We are going to find Demo Man somewhere in the desert or somewhere north of the United States. Okay, boy, I'm back to pick up your garbage and take your place to the kitchen. Wait, before I forget, have you seen Tavish lately? Who's Tavish? He's a black Scottish drunkard cyclops who carries grenades on his vest. Have you seen that guy? No, not today. All I do remember a guy who matches your description kept calling me Scrumpy. That's him! Where did he go? Last time I saw him, he told me he was going to buy some fireworks. Thank you for your help. What's your name again? Good deal. Now how are you going to pay the bill? I think we love shit. I, my stomach hurts. My lower belly hurts. I need to use the bathroom. Bathroom's over there. Go move on. You shit yourself. Very bad! Bad! Oh no. So if Heavy has food poisoning, then does that mean you give us some discount? No, I'm sure the food should be fine. My sister and I keep the kitchen clean while we cook. Even if he has food poisoning, we know a really good lawyer who knows how to come see you if you see us first. And believe me, she is a real savage in the courtroom. She is vicious towards her opponent. If she can kind of sue someone who has a strong immune system and a food poisoning case, think of what she'll do to you if you sue me and my sister. Then perhaps you'll be glad to provide me a copy of your court records. Sure, this will take a few minutes. Perfect. This is a good time to call, Engineer. Oh! Hey, guys! Sorry I was late! Oh, hey, Pyro and Engineer. Wait, where's Medic? Medic is drunk. Soon as these two arrive, Sniper and Soldier took Medic back to the base in their own vehicle. Pyro heard Spy say fireworks store, and in a blink of an eye, he appeared out of nowhere with his wallet in hand. You know what? This is perfect. I know how deep of a connection Pyro has with Demo Man. He'll be great help to finding him. Very nice. Pyro will be our navigator. Engineer will be here to keep the car running. Heavy, you will drive! And I will be the one to get the info we need. Spa already convinced Medic to pay the bill to Luthier and his sister. Or sisters. I already had some of those burgers for lunch while you were in the bathroom. Good. Now let's go find where Demo Man is. Wait, can I ask you a few questions? Sure, ask away. So this book he's writing, is he almost finished writing it? No, he's trying to stay motivated to his goal. But he struggles to keep focus with life and other things in his imagination. For example, he's got this idea where a witch is the villain. But she's the main protagonist. And her goal is to... Rescue! Three princesses because the king is a moron! If you know the wolf and the three piggies, then you know what he means. But ultimately, Boogie Bully is more motivated to Yorwin's Bible than the witch dear. Sir, is he going to send his damn line? Probably. This book might take him three years to finish, but that's the best he can hope for. And I've heard that he's written about 480 solid pages at chapter 81. And he's still going with his 800-page book. So he's still going. Yes, that is correct. So if that's the case, then does he plan to a Crystal Dempsey's book? Crystal Gem specifically? No, but what he could do is create a type of gemstone atronic. These gem atronics are magic robots that create replicas of people either living or dead, even missing. 
and he's planning to use this at Ron ACH to help the main protagonist Paul on figure out why he has addiction to his dark side. Okay, what is Alan's dark side? He can't really say no to a pretty woman. And then he does what? Palan gets them pregnant. Also, his goal is to liberate the Dondrans from slavery, and it's difficult for him to achieve that if he's horny. Addictively horny, yes. Now you know that this book is not for babies. So why is Alan allowing himself to be easily seduced by these women? I'd better not tell you that, and this scene will take too long to complete. We're going to go ahead and skip this part, because we are running out of daylight. Well, none of the fireworks stores know where Demo Man is. Neither do any of the liquor stores. But there is one more shop worth trying. Henny, I think I know what store you're talking about. But I asked you where would Demo Man get a boat to sail there. That I don't know, but I know where we can rent a boat. Fishy, fishy. Boo. 自从七个月前的新年烟火之后,我就没见过你们的爆破手. Z-H-N-D-M-A? Z-H-N-G-M-M-I-Y-U-Y-Y-N? Hmm, 看来Fake有点黑,只能说英语. 这并不令我惊讶. And our good W man Y N Z H N G W N C R B Q Z H U R N C D P U T N Z M U N E. Huh? Yeah, I don't like it either. Go translate what the nine foot tall Asian lady told us. She said that she hasn't seen Demo Man for seven months. What? Seven months? It's been that long. What about that where he dies me about three months ago? Which one? The one with the electric chair. You mean the one where we killed our 562nd scout? And she was simply breaking the fourth wall. No, that was Boogie Bully's update when I Yulong was speaking. Oh. Demo Man was simply shopping around in her store about two years ago. Wait, I just realized Demo Man has a phone. Let us call him. Shit, why didn't I think about that earlier? Oh, oh don't just stand around, call him. I'm calling him right now! Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Thomas Finnegan Dagers, also known as Demo Man, is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. This isn't good. Why would Demo Man not answer his phone like that? Unless he's pissed drunk. I don't know whether he's drunk or sober. He usually answers his phone. But this case went from where's Demo Man to what happened to Demo Man. Right. What did luck bring to him? Or who would kidnap Demo Man while he's traveling by car or boat? Wait a minute. I think I know how to confirm if this incident happened in the Pacific Ocean or not. Where's Demo Man's car? I don't know exactly. Here, let me try. I'm confident enough to hack into Demo Man's car location. Then we'll be able to find Demo Man. Um, I think I'll buy a bottle of voodoo whiskey for Demo Man if we find him. Party! It's three in the morning! Well, this is actually definitely Demo Man's car. But where's Demo Man? This is off for Demo Man. How long has his car been parked? Judge him by the wheels. It's so rusted, I'd estimate it's been months since Demo Man has driven it. Now this is just fucking scary. Why would Demo Man leave his car here for so long? Wait a minute! Do you hear that? Is that music? Yes. It's rave music coming from the beach. It's coming from the southwest. Maybe they'll know where Demo Man went. 
We better ask the host first. Have you seen Demo Man lately? Who? Demo Man. His name is Tavish. Who's Tavish? He's a black Scottish drunk Cyclops. He carries grenades on his black vest. I never seen a man like that. Well, we came here because we found his car parked in the beach parking lot. Are you sure that's his car? I checked every detail, his license plate, and his car location right by a satellite. And I'm dead sure that the car belongs to Tavish Degut. Why are you looking for him? Look, he's been gone for months. We're worried about him, and we want to make sure he's okay. Didn't you just call him? Yes, we did, but he didn't pick up his phone. And we never downloaded Life360 on his phone because we never heard of it till recently. Are there any other places he would go to if he parked here? Well, the last man who seen Demoman told us that he was going to a fireworks store. And we want to know if he came here to rent a boat from the boat rental place. Oh, well, I don't know what to tell you, but the fireworks stores are closed now. Yeah, we know that. The question we want answered is if Demoman rented a boat here. Do I look like the boat rental girl? Okay, do you know where we can find the closest boat rental building? If that's what you want, then you're standing on it right now. What do you mean by that? The boat rental service ran out of business, and they were forced to shut down. But where's the building? The building was deconstructed after their business was shut down. The business owner sold the land to save himself from bankruptcy. What? Are you fucking serious? How long ago was this? I bought this land with money I gained from my simps on OnlyFans to fund rave parties five months ago. So I guess it's safe enough to assume that the boat rental company was shut down about six months ago. And Dayu Long told us that she hasn't seen him for six months! And who's Dayu Long? It's a long story to tell. Well, I have a rave party to host. I'd hate to keep my party guests waiting for me. At three in the morning. Look, why don't you go ahead, grab yourselves a drink, give yourself some rest. Well, this was a disappointment. Disappointed? This is horrible! Yeah, you think? Not only does this make any sense, but no one here even knows where Demo Man went. Did the demolition work team even ask the boat rental company if there was anyone out in the Pacific Ocean? Before tearing the building down? Did they just assume that Demo Man would decide to steal the boat and migrate to Asia? This is so stupidly odd. How could they tear down the whole fucking building and not ask the business owner if anyone is still renting a boat? Why don't we go ahead and ask the people around us if they know anything about the boat rental building? What? It's not like we can just a bunch of random people if they know what happened to the boat rental company! Watch this! Excuse me, ma'am, do you know what happened to the boat rental company that was here five months ago? No, I'm just out here taking my nephew for a late night walk. Right! Thank you for your help. See what I mean, engineer? So if that's the case, then do we have any chance of finding Demo Man? Honestly, I don't even want to say no, but I don't know where to look for clues nor who to ask for information on Demo Man. So that's it? We're not going to find Demo Man? Heavy, we've been searching for him all day and night. We've been blocked by an obstacle with no answers. And it's not like I can just magically make a Demo Man wreck an invention. Ha! I can't even put the pieces together for directions to wherever he'll be. I'm sorry, Heavy. We've done all we could do. Oh my fucking heavy! We've burnt so much gas in one. Let's face it, Demo Man is gone! And right now, there's really nothing we can do about it! Oh my god, I don't know where to start. I'm so frustrated that way! Do you hear that? Years ago, like I don't know. Who knew that shutting down the boat rental business right after Demo Man rented a boat to go out into the Pacific Ocean was the best idea ever? Remember that when the original scout tried to cover up his own sexy fetishes, then came back as a ghost to expose Sniper to gut his revenge? Oh my fucking god, that was so outrageous what happened to Scout. What about that time when both Red Demo Man and Blue Demo Man killed the both scouts fucking the same horse? I hope Demo Man rots after what he did to all of those scouts. I know, right? 
Remember that time when Scout came back to haunt the robot Scout for replacing him? I can't fucking believe they would do that shit to Scout like that. I can't believe that our plan worked, and I'm so glad that Demo Man is fucking gone. But what if some of the other fucking guys decide to go look for Demo Man? Then we'll have to find a fucking way to get them full red before they find out that we had something to do with Demo Man's disappearance. Guys, did you hear what they just said? It's not a surprise, but now we have more questions to us, these fucking creep goblins! I'll get the dying rope. What the fuck is going on? Who the fuck are you assholes? Scout, tell us what you did to Demo Man! Who the fuck is Demo Man? Scout, we heard your little conversation with each other. Something to do with the boat rental company to make sure he don't come back. What? What are you looking for from that boat trail company that never existed? Scout, we know you're lying. What is it that you think is the greatest threat to your accomplishments? What the fuck are you talking about? Scout, tell us where Demo Man is. Up your ass, fat ass. Scout, I swear to God, if you keep pretending you don't know anything about what you did to that rental boat company, I'll rip your fucking balls off! What? We don't have anything to do with at whatever boat company you want. Scout, you better start talking. No! Try me, bitch. <laughs> Try me again and I'll do it again. Do you fucking understand, you little bitch? Okay, okay, we did cause the boat rental business by raping the owner and his family and then throwing the bodies away in the ocean. After Demoman rented the boat and took off. Well, obviously, yes. After that, we spent all of his earnings on pursuits and gave them away. One of us disguised as the owner to sell the building to deconstruct the building to clear the beach. Then we aid from the cops. And what did you do with the receipt for Demo Man's boat, Red Bull Man? Along with the other customers. We burnt them all, because it would be sexy if they got lost in Vo Red by a whale furry. And yet you still have the balls to come back after what you did to those people. And who did you falsely sell this company to? Well, Nye, of course. And who the fuck is Naya if she's not from Lego Ninja, though? The Rave Beats party host, of course. And what your purpose for selling this land to Neil? Well, sex trafficking children, of course. We used the money to buy slave children from the Middle East, ship them here so we can put sexy tatters on them, and then sell them to furries for more money so we could buy more children from the Middle East and pay not only fans. Wait, what the fuck did I just hear about me on OnlyFans? Seriously? You don't even sound shocked at the fact that Scout and his three buddies bought children from the Taliban. Rather, you just sound horny than horrified. Boys, it's not me. It's this stupid facio. I text a speech program. I don't have emotions from fake you. Okay, but didn't you know that we managed to get the money to pay for your wraith party? We've been buying little girls from the Taliban to make them sexy. We sell them to sexy rich furries for more money to buy more little girls and to pay for your... Only weak fans. How else were you able to pay for your rave parties? Naya, how else were you able to pay for your rave parties? Maharaja, I renounced my wish. Scout, exactly what the fuck did you do to Demo Man? I already told you, we destroyed the boat rental company to prevent Demo Man from ever coming back. And what does this storm have to do with Demo Man not returning to shore? It's not the storm we are dying to get a deal with a she-demon named Maharaja on the coast of California that gave us the idea that we could trick Naya into feeding Demo Man to this Demonist to get rid of him. Once Demo Man was full red, we sold the land to Naya to make sure another boat rental business would not be built on the property. So basically you used your poor fetish to get rid of Demo Man for catching you and all of your buddies, spanking your monkeys to fetish porn and hate. Look into it, you won't get it. He keeps getting us more deeper into trouble than we want. You have no idea how much of a blessing it is to a Demo Man gone. Like trash in the trash can where it belongs. So as long Demo Man is trapped inside of her stomach, we'll be free from his wrath spreading out to other people like a fucking virus. Either way, whether he drowns or gets swallowed alive, it's still going to be sexy as hell. So you get him killed for the sake of your fucking fetishes. Yes, that's exactly it. There, I told you what we did to Demo Man. Now I have some fucking transphobia. Yes. After what you did to Demo Man, the business owner and his family, the other people who rented the boats, and all of the girls you sold to rich pedophiles after they already have trauma from the fuck you, 
You pieces of shit! Shit goblins! Hey, get the fuck back over here and let us go, you stupid straight white men! You should have thought about this before you even started! Fuck you heavy, this was more sexy. Alright then, we must seek higher ground! But where do we go? Uh, especially with the tsunami that gargantuan. But it's not like we can just run up a hill or stand on top of someone's car! We'll have to race to the rooftop balcony! And all them crazy people running up the stairs? You lost your mind? Would you consider the elevator reliable in a situation like this? Well, no. It's not fast enough! Would a smart man choose the elevator? I don't know psychology, but if I didn't know any better, fear and panic would distract you from observing the situation to find the answer. Oh my gosh! No one chose to take the elevator! It kind of sounds like everyone's having a good time. But where are we supposed to go now? We don't have anywhere else to go. Well, what can we do? I really do not know if there is anything we would be doing that immediately. So that's it. We're not going to find Demo Man and we're going to die drowning once the hotel breaks down due to the tsunami water? A long question, but I'm afraid so. Or do you have any prayers before we drown? <laughs> Man, what are you doing here? How did you manage to survive? I swam up the tsunami by climbing the hotel walls. Isn't the hotel breaking down by the tsunami? Well, yes, but the glass windows was shattered by the tsunami while the outer wall was wearing down slowly. Well, the hotel is going to be fine unless the foundation breaks loose from the ground. Yes, something like that. So we're safe then? Not for long, though. See ya! How many children? What do you mean by that? I mean, how many children have I killed for the sake of party? Not realizing that the money I got from onlookers came from monsters like those furries. It's not just furries. Elderly men and fat ugly losers like Chris Chan and other WEBS. They'll spend their money on only fans for women to save their names. Pornography are addictive as drugs, alcohol, and healthy foods, and cigarettes. There are men out there who have porn addictions. They either know it or don't realize it. Hey, you didn't know that. When you heard them tell us where they get the money from, it sounded like you wanted to quit on day one. You can't beat yourself up too bad for what you've done without realizing. And look on the bright side, what is something you can be proud of? Well, I'm a whore on OnlyFans. But I never really had sex in my life, so I guess I can say that I'm still a virgin in that point of view. Really? You never had intercourse before? That's good. You're better off as a virgin than a divorced mother of a child or two or more. Well, I guess I feel a little bit better now that I think about that. It's true anyway. Good, now let's figure out how we're going to get out of this situation we're in. Mia, it's time to settle our work. What? You're Maharaja! Well, I prefer Majora, but it's spelled so similar to Maharaja, with three eyes and without the egg. I've been nicknamed after the Maharaja. So your real name is Majara, but everyone else calls you Maharaja? That is true. That doesn't really matter. We're not letting us see them in a stick, and why a so? Watch your watch your French man. French man. I'm not a she demon not a she of any kind. We're not gonna let you take Naya without a fight. Boys, it's okay. I've already accepted my fate with Majora. Oh my fucking god! This is gonna be the sexiest boar I've ever watched in my fucking life. Ah! Perverted degenerate little shit. Well, now that these two ladies are having their discussions, let's review our steps into finding Demo Man. First, it's been a bit more than five months since Demo Man's been missing. We decided to go out to find him. We checked the liquor stores, and the fat lady told us that we'll most likely find him downtown. Then we had lunch. 
And that's where we were told that demo man went up to buy fireworks. That is correct. After Medic got his drop, I had to call Engineer to pick Ludwig up and take him back to the base. After Sniper took Medic away, Engineer and Pyro had lunch themselves while we waited for Henny in the bathroom. We drove all over the Mexican desert, firework shop by firework shop to find Demo Man. But we had no luck on land. Then we checked die, you long shop drifting in the Pacific Ocean. Then we checked our phones to call him. Then after I hacked the phone to track down Demo Man's car, we went there and found that his car was parked for a long time. Then we heard NYA's rave party music and we met the party host to ask her where the boat rental company was. Then she told us that it went bankrupt and the building was demolished. All right, we were gonna give up. We heard those scouts talk about how they killed the business owner and stole his company to shut it down. Next, we intimidated them to tell us what they did to Demo Man, and they told us they wanted to make sure that he didn't return. And then here we are, trapped on a whole top balcony with the I don't know what she is. But she made some kind of deal with Naya. Wait if Naya made a bargain with Moja. Then perhaps we can make an agreement with her. Then we can be sure that she will help us find them a man. Hope your boys are raising cattle, because I ain't giving up my body parts. Let's hear what she wants first. You are looking for a demon with an alcoholic and love pirate. Am I correct? Am I correct? Yes, we're looking for Demo Man. Describe to me his appearance. He's a black drunkard Scottish Cyclops who wears red, a black vest, black beanie, and he carries grenades on him. Tell me his name. Perish Finnegan de Groot. Now tell me what was his latest event you were told. Demo Man rented a boat to visit Dai Yulong's shop to buy fireworks from her. This was where? This was where? Here on the beach where NY's rave party was on the beach! Wait for a moment. For a moment. I, must I must digest, digest the, description the description you just given me. What? We weren't giving you our clues for you to eat. Engineer, Maldera is thinking it over. The same. You can't physically eat spoken words. Is he the one he who cries about an artificial intelligence set to speech program? Fifteen out day! I! Yes! That's our demo man! Is he the one who will want how he will finish his kiddish story if it doesn't come back online? Yes, that's our demo man right there! So where is he then? Before you give me any criticism, I thought it was the woman who made a bargain. Driving a mini yacht from the boat rental company that is destroyed. I could have sworn that it was her. Because she flees from our bargain, I hunt her down coast by coast. Seeing how fast the boat moves on the Pacific water. I thought that it was that. When I swam up to devour the cowardly little thing, I pushed the yacht up so high into the sky, it was flying. Then I saw the humanoid silhouette fly out of the yacht and out further into the Pacific Ocean. I chased after it. As I was following that silhouette, I blew a jet of air towards the surface of the ocean water. Then I inhaled a tornado to vacuum the little but when I saw his horrified facial expressions as he was falling down into the ocean, I realized that I swallowed the wrong thief. Swallowed the wrong thief? Who was this thief who flees from your bargain? Laura. Laura. She wished for knowledge and beauty among the other women around her. Okay. You are looking for Laura Athens. But what about Davis Degra? I told you earlier. I swallowed him. I swallowed Tavis Degru because I mistaken him for Laura. Wait, what the fuck? Where did you spit him out at? I didn't spit him out. I kept him trapped so I could find the people who were looking for him. I couldn't achieve that for five months. Well, here we are. And we want him back. Marjora, don't you fucking dare. You wanna be so fucking sexy once demo man is fucking digested into shit you'll be out of my fucking air. I'm already getting tired of these unwanted degenerates trying to normalize their fetish. I know. It's like this has come from every once in a while to every day. And what's worse about it is that real people are actually trying to normalize their sexual behavior in the United States. Now, you're not seeing what the lefties have done to get what they want. Don't forget to look at the shady stuff the right has done. Oppressing women's rights, gay rights, child abuse, etc. Hey, let me tell you. The Democrats have done so much more damage than the Republicans have done to my country. Well, as a Democrat, at least I'm not trying to drag your nation back into the Dark Ages.
Demo Man is not you. What day is it? I lost track of time. It's September. How did you survive that long trapped in her digestive system? I believe nothing but digestive efficiency. How many parasites did I allow into my body? If we're talking about fish from the sea, then we'd better take you to the hospital before taking you back to the base. You wouldn't mind telling us where you were going? Retracing your footsteps? What? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I know what to say. First, I visited Martha's ship because I found a great discount for her peanut butter whiskey. Martha's shop. Keep going. Next, I was hungry. So I ate a Luther's barn, peel and paste, and barbecue burgers, buffalo wings, beer, beer, tears, and a few bottles of beer for lunch. And then you went to die long shop. Well, I was, but then after I rented a boat, I was thrown into the air. I was falling down into a whirlpool, and then next thing, I was myself in the belly of a whale. That wasn't a way of demo man. How? Oh. Why am I here in Paris screaming at the viewers that I was repenting for exposing Scout for being a party? Those would be boogie bullies, haters. Now why am I here in for accusing them for accusing them for hypocrisy and generosity? Because the degenerates trying to cover their own asses. Why do I sound like shit? Because Boogie Bully was using Sage.com. Damn it! Now I know why everyone wants fifteen dollars back online. Well, at least we'll know shortly after September 23rd. September 23rd? Maharaja, how fucking dare you spit demo men out like that? Maya, how can we die? Oh. Was she still in our conversation? Oh my fucking god! There's no way you just did off screen ball like Puss in Boots from Shrek 4. I demand a real form. I want to write fucking here, right fucking now, and straight up fucking sexy. Maharaja for these five fucking stooges while I fucking masturbate to this shit. Hey guys, sorry we're running late to take Demo Man to the hospital. Before we start driving, get any of those party people survive the tsunami? No, rescue teams are all over the area searching for breeding survivors. So far, nobody survived. Shame, but I looked at the news on my phone and there were reports of Arab children being teleported into Christian and Jewish households who are looking forward to adopting children. I know, paranormal investigators are interviewing those children and pedophiles are being arrested. And to add on to that, the Supreme Court ruled that none of the Arab children will return to the Middle East. Clearly that's God's way of telling us that children don't belong in the Middle East where the Taliban terrorized the poor world. Now that I see Demo Man's car getting towed to the shop for repairs, I think we're ready to drive to the hospital. Oh Demo Man, how much did you learn about Majar on her life while you were wrapped inside her belly? I couldn't hear a damn thing outside through her. Guts, muscles, and body fat! All I know is that she eats way more fish than a sushi buffet! But what about her own voice? What did you hear her say from up her throat? I didn't hear much from all of the gurgling and sloshing deeper into her intestines. It was muffled, but it sounded like she liked to cast some kind of spells by forming her magic doing whatever she was doing. But I think I was going deaf. It was so hot inside of her stomach, I literally had several heat strokes. I was also screaming, let me out, you big ugly whale. At first at least then, when I heard her chart her mystery spills, I was screaming, let me go, Wayne. Then after having to smell the stench of decaying digestion, I think I found a mermaid skeleton too in her stomach acid. After what I saw, I asked her, what are you craking? One time, I woke up hearing women sobbing and little crying, but there was literally no one trapped her stomach with me. I was screaming blood and air that she spit me out immediately, but she didn't respond. That sounds like them parasites got into your brain, Emma man. We're going to make sure that you get it. Well, 
I don't know what doctors call it. But we're going to get the worms out of your body. Besides that, they won't hesitate you into the emergency room. Because not only do you look like shit, but you smell like shit. Heavy, please open the windows. Yes, definitely. Wait, what the fuck? What the hell is wrong? The windows won't roll down. I think the windows are stuck. What? The windows are stuck. Stuck on what? I don't know, but I'm not hearing any buzzing. That sounds like a busted cable. A busted cable? She didn't swallow a shower to bathe in. All I got was a shower of digested enzymes. <laughs> Pyro, you're the one who's wearing the mask.